Hello everybody, welcome back to more Binding of Isaac Rebirth, and we are still working our way through these challenges, and today I'm actually going to do the purest. The purest, I don't think, will be the hardest one, and that doesn't necessarily mean I'll win first try, but it, I, I think compared to some of the other ones, what I've heard about some of the other ones, it's probably easier than that. So what is the purest? The purest means you start with base Isaac, no other items. Let's just double check, I'm right about that. Yep, nothing at all, so no D6, even though you've unlocked the D6. And the seed, if it matters, is JSKL AK63. There's no item rooms. I believe there's shops, at least in the purest for the original game there were still shops. But no item rooms ever. And you have to go all the way to an ending. Although it might be like a, a Satan or Isaac deal rather than dark room or chest. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am not sure. But either way, yeah, you've got to get very far with no items from item rooms. But you can still get items in shops, in bosses, in deal with devils or angels. And, you know, that kind of thing. In secret rooms, etc, etc. So you have to try and use every advantage you can make for yourself because you're not getting items the conventional way. So in theory, it can be hard if you just have really sucky luck, which I tend to do sometimes. So we'll see how it goes anyway. It encourages me, if nothing else, to try and look for secret rooms, although I'm going to hate myself if I get a secret room and it's got one of the items I haven't found yet, like skeleton key or... Uh, what's the other one I haven't had from secret rooms yet? One up. I've, I've never had the one up. It's so bloody common in the original game, and I've not had one up in this game yet. But anyway, I'm sure it will happen now that I've said that. I do not want the wiggle worm twink trinket. Not twink it. I don't have a speech impediment, honestly. I am clearing the floor, incidentally, because I want all the consumables I can get. So that's why I'm still doing it, even though there's no item room. There are shops. That is good to know. It would have been murder if there was no shops. If you wanted to make this easier on yourself, I would guess doing it after you've unlocked the highest tiers of shop probably helps. I obviously haven't done that, so... Hooray for making things difficult. Um, let's just go out of here, that's pointless. I'm disappointed by the lack of rooms with combat, because that means there's less chances for consumables. But one bomb, two keys, I could exchange the bomb for another key. I'm not going to do that though. I'm going to hold on to it and use it on the next floor to find the secret room because I'm never sure where they are on the first floor. Anyway, our first boss is Larry Jr. Three of them, the ones that shoot at you when they see you. We got the easiest arena for it though because it's the one without any stuff. Well, they fill it with poo obviously. Oh, I still managed to get ahead. That's embarrassing. Yeah, but it's the one without any blocks. You don't have to waste bombs clearing a space. Although that, a bomb would speed things up. I don't want to use my... Ow. My only bomb. So what am I hoping for from this boss? Getting hit doesn't matter because it's first floor. I would like an all stats up, but I would say that's asking for too much. So just something basic. HP and something. So like, you know, lucky scab. That kind of thing. Thank you for the penny. It might pay off. Can you stop pooping everywhere? What have you been eating? What is the diet of a Larry Jr? Larry Sr. Oh right, Curse of the Blind. Lovely. Well, we don't know what we're getting. It's HP. That's fine. I will not be lazy. I will shoot the poop. And we'll see how far it wants us to go when we do the stage transition. Alright, let's see. I assume it'll be all the way. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> And it's the cellar. It probably means we have to go further than it lives as well. I would hazard a guess that it's all the way. So we have an arcade. That is very promising. Thank you for giving me my penny back. I want to get some coins on uh, hearts on the floor first, though. Oh, it's this room. This is a very busy room. I probably would have liked to aim for boss rush, just because, again, it's a way to get more items in a run where the thing is you don't get many items. At the same time, though, you would have to be carried by, like, your first deal with the devil. So unless I'm going to get a deal with the devil on this floor where it's, like, mom's knife and something. Mom's knife, nine lives, I guess. I'm not going to be going fast enough. If Brimstone is there, maybe. You're just sitting there, but I don't like you, so let's get rid of you. Oh, I'm going to get fenced in. That was penced in, which is different from fenced in. It's when you get fenced in by a dick. And it's my word. I've copyrighted it. You can't use it unless you pay me. Five cents per usage. And it's on the owner system because there's absolutely no way I can track that. Also, it's getting very close to Christmas on the day I'm recording this. Well, quite close anyway. And I'm almost certain it'll be posted after Christmas. So if you were away on Christmas doing family type stuff and you haven't seen for Christmas, I did a two hour special of the basement seed. 
which actually turned out quite fun. I was worried I would run out of steam like after an hour, but I definitely wanted to do more than that because that was kind of like the point. I wanted to expend the item pool. Although I didn't realise at the time, and now do, that the thing that helped me expend item pool as I was finishing is that D4, it rerolls your run, yes, but it rerolls it out of items remaining in the pool. So that's why the last few times I used it, it did literally nothing. Because there was no items left for it to draw. I'm not comfortable with getting hit twice by a shit. He's dead now. I'm tempted to blow up those pots. Sometimes they give you money. Money means we can buy something in the shop. The shop is more viable in a run with no item rooms. Thank you for the extra money. Let's just give it a go. So all we got is a bunch more spiders. Obviously I'm not happy about that, but still. It was worth the risk, and obviously the secret room wasn't going to be there because it can't be anywhere that's blocked off by either gaps or rocks, etc. But anyway, we're no stronger really than the first floor, so I'm hoping it's not the goddamn haunt. Little Steven would be fantastic because regardless of which item he drops, it's a damage up. Although if it was actually Steven he dropped and not Little Steven, I would hate myself because that's very rare. So on second thoughts, yeah sure, why not make it the haunt? A couple of places item room could be so far, but I'm not sure. Oh, hello suiciders, oh I didn't see that one. Well there goes my, s oh no they only do half, right. Meh meh meh. Oh the other one suicided. Shop, yes. I don't want charge plug and I don't want the baggie. This is a very, very unfortunate selection for our first shop. I don't even want the bomb really. No, we'll pass on that. That is a great shame. So now what are we banking on? A good deal with the devil or we're going to be struggling on caves one. I'm amazed that didn't hit me because I moved really stupidly. <laughs> Hmm, the secret room could actually be above here, and we did just get two more bombs. I've got no idea where to put it. Let me have a look at this room. Yeah, it could be here. <clears throat> it is not. I don't want to waste any more bombs looking. Although there is one more really obvious place. Hang on. It's actually above this room. That's where it was. Well, that is good for future shops. Assuming I survive that long. Now, can I just pop this, like... Here and it'll get all three of you. No, it'll just get one of you. Whatever. I'm amazed I didn't get the guy on the right. Amazed. Who we got? No, oh, it's just Pin. That's fine. Oh god. Well that was was that Spirit Heart? I hope so. I need this deal with the devil, damn it. If I wasn't doing this on camera and I didn't get a deal with the devil on this second floor, what I would probably do is restart, to be honest. It's a bit tacky to do that, which is why I'm obviously not going to, but... Hand on heart, if I wasn't recording, that's probably what I would do. Because otherwise you're just making it difficult on yourself, and when you're recording, a difficult journey can be entertaining. But when you're playing just for fun, not necessarily. That's another reason why doing nerfs is fundamentally flawed in a game where if you don't like the start you get, you can just keep on restarting until you do get a start you like. I suppose that's maybe why they did Eden Tokens in the first place, because they knew people were just going to restart until you get a good start. Uh, the photo of Isaac getting raped by his mother isn't so great, but don't be Krampus. And <laughs> look how sad it makes him too. So these are both awful. I don't want either of these. So all we got out of this deal with the devil was a spirit heart, and I don't think that'll keep the president up for them appearing. But that does mean we could get angel rooms. Angel rooms are sometimes good. Oh, I totally forgot there's an arcade. I'm so glad I looked at the map. There's no other hearts on the floor, though. Is there one in the shop? There is. Okay, and it's half price. So, two cents for a heart in the shop. Hmm. Where else could the goddamn secret room be? Below the room I started in, to the right of this room. I mean, I mean the other secret room, actually. So, there's two locations I see for that. Far right here. And then the south. So, it's not there. I will use another bomb to test this because it seems like two very obvious places for it. In the south of the room I started in. Right here. Oh, I don't have a bomb. What am to all those bombs I picked up? I could have sworn I had more. Well, we might get more here. So we're going to play this a little bit, then we're going to gamble a little bit. More keys, more bombs is totally fine. Hearts would be better though because I want more HP to trade away. More money means more gambling. 
Clearly my luck is not where it needs to be today. One more time. Thank you for the keys, I suppose. So now we gamble and hope that we get some hearts before I get to 15 cents, I would say. There's one bomb, so I could check for that second secret room now. Thank you. And that second secret room could be the room full of hearts. So it might pay off doubly. Hey, thanks for lots of bombs. I'm not sure why he paid out with three there. That was just very lucky. And as we've already established, clearly I'm not lucky, so I'm not sure why that happened. Give me red hearts, god damn. Ugh. Right, I'm going to go check for that secret room now. Huh, definitely, so... Well, we'll play him two more times. That's one. Uh-huh. Fly Love would be totally fine as well if he paid out totally. I'm tempted to aim for that. We're getting tons of bombs, for whatever reason. So yeah, we'll check for our second secret room in that other location I was tempted by. I don't really want the purple heart. It just makes more champions appear. Champions technically mean more consumables, but also harder enemies and we have no damage ups. Just uh, DPS. So we'll play him down to 15 cents. Or he might pay out right here. He did not. Kind of wanted him to, to be honest. Hey, there's red hearts though. Nope, never mind. It just became a fly. You've got two more plays unless you pay out with money. And then you get exploded. That would be nice. Give me the red heart. You bastard. Yeah, give me the bomb I'll use to murder you. Alright, well, you're dead. He might drop a heart. He did not. I got my bomb back, though. And unfortunately, there's no more hearts on the stage, so I can only blow up this thing. And it gave us hearts to get back to, well, halfway. And that's our second floor. We have DPS up, thanks to having a bit of shot speed and tears up. We have above Isaac's natural health. We have enough cash to buy something in our next shop. But other than that, no damage, no trinket, no consumable card or pill. Don't have any idea what's in our rotation. That's why I didn't want to take the baggie, incidentally. If I knew for a fact we had a, like, a really good pill in our rotation, just even one, if we had one HP up for sure, I probably would have forsaken all tarot cards. So these immolated hopper guys are very annoying because they move super fast. They move like the spiders that I despise. First cursed, cursed room of the run I will gamble on, however, not until I've done the boss. Because I apparently am getting hit a lot this run, so I need the spirit heart to protect me. And the boss might take a while. If it's Gurdy, it's going to take a bloody age. Even with the DPS up. Although, if we find our shop first, what can we get in our shop that would actually help me do more damage? Black Candle gives you a black heart. That's technically good. I don't think there's any straight damage ups I can get in the shop, though. Well, Pandora's box could pay out with something useful to me. And that could be the dog barking because I have to answer a door. Let me just listen for a second here. Or she could just be barking because she's ornery. And we get in our chest. A red heart. Well, I needed it, so... Thanks. This is a very weird layout. Oh, bone guys on the f third floor we're doing. Now it's handy that we have lots of bombs because I want to destroy a lot of mushrooms. So there's two pills in our rotation right there. If one of those is a bad trip. Range down! Full health. Full health is good, but the range down hurts. Give me a liberty cap. Hell, swing for the fences, give me magic mushroom. There's our shop. So the boomerang. I don't really like the boomerang, but we're kind of grasping at straws here, aren't we? We'll take the spirit heart, we'll take the boomerang. It might give us some kind of net worth. I'll blow up these two mushrooms as well. So if you don't know what the boomerang does, it's like the boomerang from Zelda. So if I hit an item with it that I can't reach, it will bring the item to me. And if I hit enemies with it, it will stun them for a little while. Works on bosses, too. And it can actually kill weak enemies outright, like um, the, the the little flies. Everything else it won't, though. And it's a one-room charge, as you can see. So I don't think I can draw that chest to me, though. No. There is a tinted rock. Tinted rocks don't form bridges, do they? I should know that. Oh, they do. That was a great payout, also. Now, hang on a minute. How am I going to do this so I can get to it? Uh, that will reach it, right? Yeah. Hey! 
Well, we're one third of the way towards becoming Guppy, and I think Guppy's head is better than the boomerang, so I regret spending the money on it now. If I had had to have used the boomerang to get that chest, then fine, I, I would have said that's some value, but I didn't, so... I just wasted 15 cents on a run where that might matter. Which is a shame. Now, that was one of the pills we just got, right, so it's either full health or range down. I want to destroy the mushrooms anyway, so I'll do this. Yes, GG, we win actually, so we have just, just go. And that is a full health pill, so the pure orangey yellow one is full health. Commit that to memory, bastard. Well, hang on, now before we do the boss, because we have got quite a few spare hearts, I'm going to go to the curse room now, because if we do get two-thirds of the way towards becoming guppy, I'd be willing to take an item I wouldn't normally take if it was guppy. You know, the hairball. I don't rate the hairball particularly high, but if it was there and I needed it, I would take it. So in here we get two chests, troll bomb and allied spiders, so that's not really worth the spirit heart it cost us, but uh, there's also rooms to explore. Fine, we'll do that while we're over here. We're looking for every advantage, don't get lazy. Plus, the spider, uh, the, well, the spiders might, but the flies for sure are doing quite good damage. And we get some every room, so if I shoot an enemy at range, although our range is lower, it means I can create a little bit of a fly army. See, getting that key could be worth it in the long run. Now, there is a couple of places the secret room could be. Like, for instance, here. I would rather go through from the side of the room I was just in, though. Oh, I don't have any bombs again. Ah! I went bomb happy on the mushrooms, but it paid off because I got liberty caps, so... That's still technically good. That's the boomerang we no longer require. Alright, boss time. I bet it's Gertie. Oh, Mega Maw, that's not too bad. Well, there's our fly shot. It, they did okay, but my damage is awful. It's, it isn't quite as bad as running into Gertie. Mega Maw does not have as much HP as Gertie. We have enough spare hearts that I should not take red heart damage. I think I'm standing in like the ideal place here for <laughs> whatever reason. Just move backwards and forwards as required. Yeah, I am. So that's one square below the top left. Oh, right, the hopper has to die. Deal with devil or angel, please. Really? No damage? Did I even take any damage on the floor? Yes, I did. So that's more DPS, I guess. It's almost like we have number one. If we get a few more ranged downs, we will. Don't have any bombs, so I can't check the other obvious location for the secret room. We are done on this floor. We have left that floor stronger, though. Our DPS is up, and we have flies. We will go in the curse room straight away. Promising. Have bombs in it. Right. Oh, nine lives. Interesting. Oh, I can't see my HP. Well, we know what it's going to be after I take this, obviously. Full health becomes irrelevant after I take nine lives. We probably will lose a few lives, incidentally. We're on half a heart now. Oh, we know. We'll still have our spirit hearts, won't we? I think. Hmm. No, we're not strong enough to make that worthwhile. I was just thinking it might have bombs. So now we're two-thirds of the way towards becoming Guppy, and I think that would be our out. If we could become Guppy, maybe find at least one way to generate spirit hearts, then we'd be fine. Or we can just go full glass cannon where every hit matters and I just do tons of damage as Guppy. That would be fine too, I could work that. The Devil card is Book of Belial effect, so it can help guarantee a deal with the Devil, I believe, now that Book of Belial does that too in this version of the game. Oh! I'm amazed that didn't hit me. I think I still have my spirit hearts. So we still have, what, like two and a half spirit hearts on top of the half red heart or something? I'm not sure. This room sucks. Although thankfully, they didn't attack me for whatever reason. Aha! The money is very nice to see. I don't believe we know that pill yet. Oh, we do. It's the range down. God damn it. Right, so blue and green ignore. to kill these guys as fast as possible. Here we go, get rid of them. There we are. Yeah, DPS actually works well against them. You don't exactly need damage. So if I was willing to damage myself, I could get a key there. But our keys are actually totally fine. It's bombs that I've been going a bit too spammy with, and as a result, I have none. So if we found 10 bombs in a secret room or something like that, that'd be fine too, although in the secret rooms it's 99 bombs, right? That'd be better. 
And we will probably clear this floor damn, in this entire area. Well, yeah, we must have spirit hearts now because otherwise I'd be dead. So I think we've got one and a half spirit hearts left. And obviously getting some kind of HP up. Whoops. Okay, well, let's. Oh, that may have done a full heart actually. So I think I might have half a spirit heart left now. Let's hope for all stats ups from the boss. I was half expecting greed. So blank card has promising synergies, but I can't afford it. I'm going to take the spirit heart just to increase my survivability. I mean, this life technically doesn't matter any more than any of the other nine ones we're going to have now. But this one does have spirit hearts attached to it, so why not make those spirit hearts more? Otherwise, I could screw up on a particularly hard boss, or just a boss where I do badly. Uh, we've got range down, so this is going to be a bit annoying. We're going to have to get very close. Well, actually, not terribly. If you move around so the shots travel a little bit further, it's, it's not too shabby still. Thank you for that. That could be a Joker card right there. That could be a Jera rune right there. We have a bomb. I don't think a secret room will be here, but I want it to like catch the wall and the rock. Hey, it was there. And it's Dagaz. Purity. We unlocked this recently. I don't actually know what it does. Oh, I can see my HP. It removed the curse, so that's what it did. So we have two full spirit hearts. Fine. Or we could just get blank card for free in the secret room. Hmm. So right now we have unlimited devil cards. The devil card is Book of Belial. Is Book of Belial better than Guppy's Head? Yes. Yes, it is. So, yeah, we're going to run infinite devil cards and see how that runs. I really want to know what that is, but if I can't fly or I don't have a bomb to bung it out... Don't get me wrong, the flies are really good, but we're mostly going to struggle with bosses. Blank card helps with bosses. Oh, let's, we can get this for free. And speaking of that, press space. Let's press space. It's a boss with a lot of HP, so I'm really glad we have extra damage for here. And yeah, the flies would obviously give you extra damage as well. However, once they're gone, that's it for the fight. I can't make any more for that battle, so... Yeah, this is much better. Our high DPS plus Book of Belial damage. We're essentially Judas at this point. With a couple of spur hearts for defense. Can you do your suck in thing? Yeah, I thought so. And Mega Fatty is done. Deal with Devil, please. Thank you. Pills will worry about. Well, actually, if I take a health up now, I could trade it away. So we don't know any of these, but they could be telepills. Shit. No, I want to do the deal with the devil first. It might be Krampus. It is not. So, Judas' shadow. Will the purity challenge still count if I win it as Judas rather than Isaac? I don't know, and I'm curious. So, we're going to do that. So, we have no red hearts now, but we, when we die, we will come back as Judas with more damage. And... Two black hearts? Tears down! Our rotation is shit. I'm so glad I didn't take baggy. Unless it carries some kind of innate, you know, quality of pill up. We're done on this floor. So now I'm kind of banking on the first death being the one that brings us back as Judas' shadow, because otherwise we're going to have to go through all the guppy lives and then come back as the shadow, and the shadow's going to be the strongest one by far. It would be nice if I don't die. Oh, we've got Fatlord Mushroom for this room, so we've got increased damage. That's handy. But yeah, I hope the run still counts if I'm not Isaac when we finish it, because I think we'll probably get to the point where I have to use that shadow life. And when we do, the damage is going to be incredible. It carries an innate damage up. Our DPS is high. So that combined with also infinite devil cards would be pretty good. So if I do die... Wow. <laughs> if I do die right now, I'll come back on one red heart. I may want to do that before the boss. Why? Because then you get red heart deals rather than spirit heart deals. And spirit heart deals are always for three. So if you don't have three, I don't think you can take them, even if, it's, even if you're willing to kill yourself. Although if we have three spirit hearts, or more than three before going into the boss, that'd be fine too. Basically play it by ear. If I don't have three spirit hearts by the boss, I'm going to deliberately get myself killed so that I have a red heart to trade away. I would rather throw away my lives on red heart deals. Do we know this pill? We do not. It's a health up, so now we have red hearts. Never mind. So there is actually one good pill in our rotation. The rotation which is mostly shit. We have skinny odd mushroom for this room as well. But that's good. That is a good pill. Although... It could actually have been a health down that's been converted to health up because we had no red hearts. So that was the red and white one, but the, the white bit had like the red sparkly bits, whatever the, they are. 
medicine related stuff. Do we have any bombs? We do. Let's put a bomb right there. Joker card, Joker card, Joker card. Ah, two of diamonds. Let's just use it now. There's only two more shops anyway. Watch as I get money equals power and immediately regret that decision. Although, if I had to take the two of diamonds card with me, I could technically use it infinitely to get to max money. But then I wouldn't have Book of Belial, and Book of Belial guarantees deal with devils. I trust in blowing up skulls, because when they pay off, they pay off so well. That's a weird layout for a stage. It's clearly our damage is bad. So against enemies like this that are fast, having high DPS isn't quite as good oh, I hate these ghost things so bloody much, as having just high base damage and slow shots. So that's a lot of money right there, that's handy. Hmm. We'll do it and we'll use the devil to speed things up. So Broken Onk, do I want that or do I want Liberty? Yeah. The Broken Onk has a chance of bringing you back as Blue Baby. A chance. We already have enough lives. I think if I was, I was losing, I'd rather have the Judas' Shadow Life for the damage up. So... And I like Liberty Cap. I think we'll hold on to Liberty Cap. So this was a pointless room unless we get another chest with some kind of goodie in it for winning. And I hope there's four rooms. Oh, it's going to take a while to do it. Actually, no, it's not. Not with the... Ooh. Not with the Devil card. The devil card's going to keep this pretty quick, actually. Oi, up here, you little shits. I think this is the last wave as well. I thought they were actually the second wave, and then it's like the hands that grab you. But I guess not. So we got nothing else. But we know the Broken Onk's in there, so if I change my mind, it's there to pick up. Whatever. Now, let's try and earn another charge with this before we find the damn boss. And we know it's not Mom, because that's the next floor. I mean, this is basically proof right here of our, our lack of damage. The tears down did not help. Our DPS has actually been lowered. Oh, very nearly, little shit. Very nearly. That's an affectionate name for you, but really, I hate you. I can't remember which trinket that is. I don't really want it. I like Liberty Cap, so we'll move on. This is going to be a painful room with my damage where it is. We have many much though, so I'm not going to have any problems out running them, but this is going to take a while. It's another one of those famine type runs where I just don't get a break, I think. But all we need... Ooh, almost got penned in there. All we need is one devil room with a guppy item. Even if it's a bad guppy item, I'll take it. The collar isn't great. The hairball isn't great. I'm not happy about that damage, and I really don't want to... Actually, no, it doesn't matter if I lose this life, actually. We still come back with one heart, so who cares? Oh, I've left Steam broadcast settings on clearly because someone on my Steam list just did the pop-up saying would like to watch your broadcast. If I wasn't uploading, I would have given it a shot because I still haven't tested with my new upload speed, but no. So there's the boss. Would have liked having like a red heart because we're currently one hit away from death and I wasn't really paying attention to that fact. And I think it might happen here because I'm getting fenced in. And our speed isn't actually that great. Again, if we die, we essentially come back in the exact same state, so it doesn't matter. Unless Judas' Shadow takes President over nine lives, in which case I wouldn't like that as much. We'd get the damage we need. Although then, if I get resurrected by the dead cat after that, do I still have the Shadow's damage bonus or not? Do I go back to being Isaac or do I stay as Judas? Now I kind of want it to happen just so I can find out because I've got no idea. I would assume you stay as Judas, and it's the shadow version, so you would have the damage up. That would be my guess. And then if we got Guppy after getting that damage up, it wouldn't matter that we only had one health, I think. I'm pretty sure we'd kill everything. I'm kind of amazed I made it through this room, but we did. Let's. We've got the Devil card, so let's do it. Spacebar, spacebar, spacebar. I don't like that it's Monster 2. I usually take some silly damage against him. Because he death beams so weirdly with his bizarre broken hitbox. Oh, there's one bit of damage. Who the hell were you death beaming there? So we might die here. If we do, I'm going to go generate another devil card. But we know if I use it in the boss fight, we will get a deal with the devil for sure, since it counts as Book of Belial. I'm trying to trigger more and more of his beams because they're actually easier to dodge than his flies because his flies just kind of piss you off. Just don't take any 
Don't take any chances. If it looks like he's going to death beam, just, just move. He might have death beamed there, so that's why I moved. That's how this works. Flies are the worst. Very nearly. He killed his own flies there, actually. Yep, he kills his own flies. Please just die. Oh. Why are you not dead? Thank you. Whew. So that is actually HP. Do I want to pick that up before or after I look in the devil room? If it's Krampus and I die to him, I don't really care because I wouldn't take... Well, I kind of do care because... Ah, yeah. I think this is going to be Krampus. And if I die to him, it would bug me. Oh. It's the ability to fly for two. The ability to fly is good. So yeah, we shall do this. We look horrible. Now, do I want to clear any more rooms on this floor? I kind of do in case there is a special room of some kind. If I found a number six room, I would use it at this point for absolute sure. So that's what I'm looking for. And purist runs are always going to be long because you have to try and find every possible advantage you can. So settle in, this is probably going to be a long one. There is no advantage to me trying to finish this floor as fast as possible. That's the long and the short of it. That said, I kind of wish I had a devil charge for this room. Yeah, I could use the card, but then it's gone. And I don't want it to be gone. I want to have it. It's essentially all that's holding me together at this point. Having a technical constant Book of Belial on the same charge as Book of Belial as well, thanks to Blank Card. If I found something like a Herophant card, would I take that instead and have, damn it, and have unlimited spirit hearts instead of unlimited Book of Belials? The answer is no. Although I would try and generate as many as I could on the one stage first. Bastards. Well, that's then dead at least. Oh yeah, we haven't found our shop on this floor either. Is there any tinted rocks? I didn't see any on the other side. Nah, there's none. But faces, don't be the psychic ones. They would have killed me for sure. So this has got another charge. Birdfoot, no thank you. So there's our shop at least. I'd buy a spirit heart in here if there is one. Must remember the colour of the pill that was held up as well. The red and white with the sparkles. Don't be greed. Fuck you. Well, if you drop Steam Cell, that sets us up for a potentially good final shop. If we get there. Stop shooting when I'm not even in line with you, you little bastard. Also, that in no way, shape or form hit me. Ugh, well, we're dead. We'll go back in and finish him off now that we're on a... Ah, so it is nine lives first. I'd rather... Why did we break that rock? Also, I don't like that it's super greed now. We might just lose again. But in fact, let's uh, book a Belial with spacebar. And try and speed this up. Now, he's easier to dodge shot-wise, but he spawns the worst enemies. And he spams them, apparently. Yeah, so I'd have to go through all of nine lives before I got to the life which gave me Judas's shadow. That's not as good. I really wanted that one to, to be first, even though I picked it up after. It's a shame. I mean, it does mean we have an eventual payoff. We have an eventual life where I will have high damage up and more than one hit in me. So we've got the quarter. So for the next floor, that's fine. Is there any... We've had a distinct lack of red hearts as well, and there is a curse room, so I definitely want to find a red heart of some kind. <laughs> Secret room will not be below here because of how this... It's not above here either. So to the left of this room then. It seems like the only logical choice. Put a bomb there, it might catch the skulls. Caught one of them for some reason. Two more keys is fine. So yeah, I'm going to throw away another life going into the curse room, unless I get half a heart in here. There, there has been a distinct lack of heart drops, right? It's not just me. It feels like it. Although maybe I've been getting hit more than I usually do. You get hit more often the lower your damage is. It's just the way of it. Even if you play really, really well, the longer fights get drawn out, the more likely you are to make a mistake or just the enemy gets lucky, you get unlucky. Thank you for the heart, so I won't die going into this cursor now at least. Ooh. So we could do the, the old, you know copy all the chests in the chest if we're going that far but that would mean losing Book of Belial for that duration. I'll take it in here in case there's anything worth copying. 
So I could make this four red chests, which increases my chances of becoming guppy by a factor of amazing. So I think that's what I'm going to do because I need the Book of Belial damage to get any further in the game. So, yeah. Please have one guppy a minute. Come on, come on. Well, you know, four spirit hearts for half a spirit heart damage. It increases my survivability by a factor of less good than guppy. But it's okay. It's okay. Also, apparently I am live in the bottom right. Is that appearing on the screen on the recording? It isn't. I'd love to know how that's possible because I have it set so I have to give permission for people to watch me play games on Steam. I don't think that's right. It has a little plus, so I assume that means I have to approve it. Also, live isn't red. Arcade. Oh. Now, this is very interesting. Let's get this guy to pay it first. Pay it with HP, you little shit. HP. You know what HP is, don't you? That is not HP! God damn it. Ha. Huh. Well, we can do that and that once and then come back. I, I want to blow up the key beggar, but I don't want to blow up the devil beggar by accident. So, we'll, yeah, we'll wait for now. We'll wait. Don't use the bomb for anything else except maybe a tinted rock. So the black bean kind of paid off there because I got hit, but I'm not happy that I got hit. What's in here? I have to. Guppy, come on. Guppy, guppy, guppy. Okay. I don't like that we're fighting Krampus or that I don't have a charge for the devil. You know, well, I guess I should say it like I don't have a charge on blank card because that's the truth and what I mean. But cause and effect. God damn your beams. So what do I want here? I want Lump of Coal because the head is of no use to me and this is also our, well not our last devil room but we don't get one. No, we have one more after this. One more. What am I talking about? So that's one more chance of good cup ends. I'd probably aim for, assuming I get the choice, and I might not get the choice. If I get the choice between Cathedral and Show, I would probably go for Show because in the dark room there's a chance of becoming guppy, and I think I need to do that to kill whatever final boss it expects me to kill. So if we're not guppy by the time I kill it lives, we're in trouble. I can't believe that Jera rune in the curse room did pay off. I was expecting it to, and we got the bad item. God damn it. Well, we have this other chest here. Oh, right. We'll use blank card in here, actually, so I'm kind of glad I didn't use on Krampus now. I got stuck by the card animation, in case you're wondering why that hit me. Oh, that one was just bad. So we've lost one of the spirit hearts that I got for coming in here. Who did we kill after him? I thought Mega Maw was second. Oh. Oh, Duke of Flies. Well, this is easy, at least. So we came out of here with a profit of half a spare heart, although given that Krampus hit me bot twice, that's probably still a loss, so I'm just playing badly. I'll reiterate though that it's partly bad damage that's to blame. I'm expecting things to die when they aren't dying. We didn't get any red hearts either, so I can't continue gambling in there. We will open this. That's fine, I suppose. So we have another curse room on this floor, that is good. We will obviously be going in it because that's kind of where I'm placing my bet at this point. We become guppy or we lose slowly. That's the long and the short of it. Even if we do become guppy, we still might lose. Just faster. And I will blow up this skull. Come on, guppy. Nope. <sighs> Usually it's so easy to find a random guppy. That's not good damage I'm getting pinned in here. Again, bad damage. I'm expecting things to die faster than they are. If you could stop spawning spiders and shit, that'd be fantastic. There we go. And done. Thank you for the bomb. Um, I don't think a secret room will be here, but screw it, I felt lucky. <laughs> Why would I feel lucky on a run like this? I have no idea. This is another room that's going to take absolutely... That was bad damage. Absolutely ages to do. I'm playing sloppily now because I'm getting annoyed at how slow we're going thanks to having no damage. That is exactly what's happening here. We've had horrific deals with the devil, and I've gone out of my way to ensure that they appear, but they've just been terrible. The ability to fly is fine, but even that hasn't paid off. I haven't really gotten anything apart from maybe one or two bombs that I wouldn't have had if I had not been able to fly. 
It didn't help in the boss room, it didn't help fight in Krampus. So yeah, so far the ability to fly hasn't paid off and that is rare for that to happen. Plus, maybe what I should have done if I was thinking it through clearly. If I was really aiming for Guppy, which I am, and I have a way to guarantee deals thanks to Book of Belial Effect, I didn't need the ability to fly. If I was really putting the money on becoming Guppy, oh another one, pay it with HP. I should have just not taken the deal, taken the black hearts and walked away. What's, what is this? The hero fan. I am just going to use this, I'm not going to blind card it. Actually what I should have done was blind card it once. Never mind. Well, that kind of makes me feel a little bit better. HP up. I was reading on the subreddit the other day from me recording this, so keep in mind by the time you see this it might have been patched, that there is code missing for a mystery sack. So currently it literally does nothing. It's supposed to randomly select either a key, a bomb, or I assume either a penny or a heart. It said there was three entries for what it can drop. Although if it's copying the other sacks it will be bomb, key or money. And the code is missing, they forgot to put it in. So mystery sack in this version I'm currently playing does nothing. Nothing at all. Infamy? No. Although we got a golden key. Let's check for our secret room there. Could equally be on the right as well. That was just bad dodging. I saw the other hopper jump. We have a devil charge ready. So we have two more half hearts. This is going to be laborious as hell. Oh, hang on, there's a shop. Let's go to the shop first. It's going to be laborious as hell, but I have to do it. Oh, there's mom's hands. I have to take a half heart back, go play the devil beggar and the blood bank once, and then go back for the half heart over and over. If one of those beggars had paid out with goddamn HP, it wouldn't be so bad. But did they know? So we're all going to have to sit through this. I hope you're happy, game. So this is our final shop. I am absolutely taking PhD because our rotation is shit. We'll take that. Oh yeah, we, pick a, uh, we get a pretty fly for just taking PhD, so that's good. And this pill has become luck up. So now even if that health up pill wasn't a health up pill, it will be now. Thanks to PhD making all pills good. It also restores our HP. Unfortunately it doesn't give us any, but... So yeah, let the laborious path to victory begin. We come down here, we play each of them once. Thank you for the money. Was there anything else in the shop I wanted? We have so many keys, I'll get this guy to pay out. Maybe I'll pay it with hearts. Seriously, I've given you five keys. You better... T uh, guppy? Ugh. I'll play down to five. Or you could just pay it with Big Beautiful Fly. That's not bad. I'm also going to blow up the second blood bank because I'm not going to play that one. Give me a red heart. I'm lazy. Thank you. Still no payout. Alright, don't worry. We've got all day. I have all day game. I mean, I technically don't. There's other stuff I need to record today, but don't tell the game that, otherwise it might not pay out. Oh, the secret room should be here. Yeah. More money. There wasn't anything else in the shop I wanted, right? I'll double check. It's the last one we're getting. So there's another heart in there. That's fine. That's one more play on this tedious beggar blood bank situation. Even once one of them pays out, I'm still doing it to try and get both of them to. I, I want the blood bag and I want a gup item from the devil beggar. Get them both at the same time for... Oh, very nearly walked into them. Ah, we have a pill. So this was bad. And apparently paralysis is a good pill because PhD decides that it's still in the rotation. That's an interesting theory. Let's clear this room over here in case we get a red pill in here. Yeah, red heart rather. Pill would be fine too if it was held up. Oh. The Joker. We've done that on this floor though, haven't we? Because it was bloody Krampus. Ah! I want to take this to the next floor with me, but I can't. Because I need the devil card for damage. No, wait, no. We don't desperately need it. Why? Because using the devil card guarantees a deal with the devil or if it doesn't guarantee it it gives you a massively good chance so no I'll bank on that any tin rocks there is a tin rock right smack down bar Ooh. <laughs> our damage is so bad let me check what's down here first our damage is so bad I'm considering taking Bob's brain 
I, I have to. I don't have any damage. I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy at all. Oh, this room sucks. You can fly. Stay over the goddamn gaps. Let the fly do the work. Hey, he took it two at once. So Bob's brain is shit. And if you're in a situation where Bob's brain is a significant damage increase, you know that you're having a terrible time. Oh, could be a second secret room here. I only have one bomb though. I'll, I'll wait. So yeah, back to what we were doing. Collect a heart. Go back. Play those two bastards. Hope for a payout. I haven't put that many in, remember. Even though this is taking a while, I have not given them a lot. Because I have to go back every time I get a half heart. This devil beggar is pissing me off. So now my only recourse... Must keep in mind we haven't found the boss yet, either. Oh, but we know where it is. It's uh, mom, of course. Alright, we have one more play on those two and then they're getting exploded with my last bomb. And it's the heart that's in the shop, although... There is... Wait, let's clear to the boss in case another red heart drops. Well, this is an ideal setup for Bob's brain. Yeah, there we go. Thankfully we're fast enough that Chubb is not going to be an issue in a room this big. And there's the boss right there too. I suspect I'll be taking at least one spirit heart of damage against Mom. Of course, no hearts. We bought out the entire shop. Although if we were a higher level shop, I think there's more items, so... It's not as big a feat as it sounds. Oh, there could have been a second secret room through... Ah, it's so off. Ah! If only I had more bombs! Yeah, we've been down there. Rusted key was garbage. Right, this is your last top. You paid out! With damage! That's great. Sadly, we didn't get any other HP, but... That's alright. The more damage is appreciated. So, wow, when we get mini mush effect, we are super fast. Let's go fight mom. Now remember, press spacebar, press spacebar, press spacebar. <laughs> Do not accidentally use this devil card. It's the only thing keeping you alive. You get rid of Bob's brain and then do damage. Gotta watch out for my own goddamn bomb fly as well. Bob's brain, go! Ugh. No, don't get wasted on an enemy. Hit mom, there. Yeah. Eh, it's not too bad. Well, again, keep in mind, Book of Belial effect. That's what's making this not too bad. Without it, this would be pure hell. Damn it, didn't see the fly. Uh, oh, that was a big, beautiful fly there. Bob's brain. Ah, wasted it. Um, I'd love to know what hit me there because there was nothing in the damn door. So we do get the choice. Even if we were going to the dark room, I think the Polaroid would serve us better. Oh wait, no, it wouldn't let us go to the dark room actually, so it forces me to go... Well, I'm taking the Polaroid. And this was the fight with Krampus, right? Yeah, I was right. Down we go. Still not in a good situation, but... Oh, and it's Euro. But if we find a curse room that has a goddamn guppy at a minute. Thanks, Bob's brain. Really helpful. Also, I can't see my HP, but... Well, we've got two hits left in us. No. That was big, beautiful fly damaging me there. So I believe I'm one hit away from death. If not one hit, then two hits. Which is fantastic, obviously. I could get placenta from one of these, but I can't destroy the damn things to find out. It's always in the womb type areas that Bob's brain damages me more often as well. There is a curse room. I don't think I can walk in here without dying. I'll die on the way out. I have to risk it though. Ugh. Oh, we did have one more hit on us, but now we're definitely going to die as we leave. Bring it on! Yep, that's what I thought. Wait, am I just stuck in here now? No, thank god. Phew. So that was two lives. We're still going to be on nine lives, not the shadow life. Which is a shame, obviously, because it's the shadow life that's going to deal damage at this point. Depending on who the boss is, we should still be okay. We do have the means by which to get spare hearts if we find a tenant drop. That's a big if. 
and everything will kill us in a hit now, including Bob's brain. What was that? What, what hit me there? It wasn't Bob's brain because there wasn't an explosion. Same with Big Beautiful Fly. Alright, I know what hit me there, obviously, but what killed me that first time? I honestly have no idea. Oh, a double key room. If that's a reroll, I'm doing it. We need damage. We don't have damage. Ah, Bob's brain, you are terrible. Why are our tears bigger? Oh, we had uh, growth hormones, that's why. We're not on the shadow life yet. Definitely not. I think we've got five or four nine lives left. It's a five. That's a reroll the floor. I'm hoping for spirit hearts here. I'll reroll the floor. Why am I doing that? Because if there's another curse room, there's another chance at Guppy. That's the only reason. Of course it gives us Uro again. That floor before wasn't going anywhere. Oh, hang on a minute. Now our tears are smaller again. We don't have rage. Hmm. Oh, we probably had a uh, Fallowed Mushroom for the room. That's what it was. Yeah, our tears are smaller now, so that must be what it is. Bob's brain, go! We have no bombs now, so if we do find Tinted Rocks, can't do a goddamn thing about it. Apparently, I'm just in a saga of this series now, where I get lots of keys but no bombs. Because that is a recurring theme. They can't get me. They can't get me. Bob's brain's used up. Use this time to your advantage. I think it's back. It's not back. It's fine. Joker card. Two of clubs doubles your bombs. So that would actually give me two bombs. So let's do that. So now if we find a tinted rock, I can use it. The card is the Empress. No thank you. Just gotta watch for tinted rocks. We have a few more lives to throw away. That's not a problem. Red chests. Yes. If I die in here, that's fine, although the spare hearts are appreciated. Uh, we'll use the Book of Belial in this floor, in this room rather, to speed this up. If I die in here, so be it. The two spare hearts is really good though. So I kind of want to protect them. Fire when you need to, not when you just feel like it. Remember, Bob's brain. Bob's brain kills me. Hey, Loki. Ready for your regular kill? Almost knocked him into my fly there. Bob's brain is back. And he missed, of course. Got him that time, though. And then we have the champion chub. He might drop a spur heart. I can't remember if that's the one of him that does that. If he does, then that's fantastic. And obviously, I need to make sure, even if I find the boss after this, I have to clear at least four rooms so I have a charge. This is the last floor where we're getting a deal with the devil. So it kind of matters. I wish it didn't. Bob's brain go. Well, even if you miss, as long as you fired recently. Another bomb is helpful. This is a very linear floor. So there is a curse room again on our re-rolled floor. So that's good. Look how many shots it takes us to kill one of these bastards. And we are going into it, even though it's going to cost us a spirit heart. Why? Because I have no choice. Damn. That was Bob's brain and the fly combined there to screw me over. All we need is a guppy. All we need. I, I swear that should be enough. Come on. Ugh. Well, we covered our loss of going in there and trying, but I am disappointed. Oh, we saw where the devil room was. Uh, boss room was. It's down. Well, there is only one way to go, but it's down into the right. Secret room can't be above us there. Hmm, I'm not sure where it would be actually. Just you keep your distance. Yeah, you boing around like madmen. Now just hang out on the other side of this gap so you can't do a damn thing. Oh, Bob's brain's back, so calm down now. Ah, the key might pay off, I suppose. Oh, we have the brain. Nope, the brain's gone. The brain's gone. Means they can get hit there. So yeah, the boss is over here. I saw when the compass effect kicked in. Thank you, big beautiful fly. Hmm. It's on the other end of that double. Oh, Bob's brain almost got me there. 
I wouldn't mind blowing up a few of these in case they pay up with placenta, but what are the chances of that? Not very good, but for some reason I just feel like I have to try. Ugh. Thank you, Bob's brain. Or maybe that was Big Beautiful Fly, I'm not sure. I still have the brain, so I guess it was the fly. That's unfair, that was damage I couldn't avoid. I walked into the room and because of the direction the fly was flying in, I could do literally nothing to avoid it happening. So, you know, it's nice that that's still a thing that happens, I suppose. Who have we got? Teratoma. Very easy to take damage against Teratoma, unfortunately. Because of all the goddamn spiders he spits out as he gets down to his little itty bitty forms. Oh no! No! I saw it coming as well. Well, now we have to do it without the devil card, sadly. Oh, we have Fat Odd Mushroom, though, so that's one plus point. I'd rather use Bob's brain when he's in his little bits, because his little bits are hard to dodge. Oh god. Ah, this is going to be a nightmare. When did our curse wear off? Didn't we have a curse? This time we have Skinny Odd Mushroom. We are still going to get a two hit life because Judas' Shadow has two, light, uh, two black hearts. Well, the boss was over, but all the spiders were still alive, so I assume we still have to kill him. Yeah, we do. That's bullshit. We're running out of blocks, though, so it's easier to dodge. Kill the goddamn spiders. No, I walked right into it. I saw it coming. So this will be the Judas' Shadow Life. No? Alright, one more. This is embarrassing, but there's nothing I can do. I shouldn't have taken Bob's brain. It's getting me killed. Get rid of the spiders before you make more. Ah, I'm penned in. Again, I killed him. So this is the Judas' Judas Shadow Life, so we have more damage now. Yeah, look at that. And we actually have two hits, so don't screw this up. Oh, never mind, I'll screw this up. Oh, he gets a negative effect. Well, screw you, Teratoma, because we actually won. Does he get HP? He does. Although we have no more spare lives. And ignore my phone. Let me check that, actually, while we go down to the next floor. Okay, nothing I need to worry about. So yeah, we're, we're, we've lost. This is a loss, thanks to Bob's Brain and Big Beautiful Fly. And this is a joke, this room, at this stage of the game. I just got screwed over. If I had gotten Guppy, it would have been fine, but I did not. And you can't see I didn't try. I did everything in my power to get a goddamn Guppy item. I threw away lives to try, goddammit, and it still didn't work. Nope, not doing that. We do have some bombs, so there is a chance if I find some tinder box that this could be not a mess, but... Our damage is massively good now. Judas' Shadow is great for damage up, but we have no way of defending ourselves. And we have explosive items that will get me killed as quickly as it will kill the goddamn enemies. Especially in rooms like this. There has been a distinct lack of tinted rocks, too. Oh look, a curse room! I mean, I'd put myself on one hit away from death going in there. So uh, I don't really want to do it. If I find a tinted rock, I will. Or a spirit heart by some other means. If Guppy was in there, it would be too little, too late. Now, I feel. Oh, look, there's a spirit heart. Shall we go check? That's a room full of spiders. So finally, my win streak of challenges is going to be over. Because up until now, oh, there's the boss up there. How the hell did you get up there from here? Oh, there's a mini boss. That's promising. Let's try that. In fact, let's also check for a secret room here. Yeah, I, up till now, every challenge I've attempted, I've won first try. So this will be the first time I've lost a challenge. It is the purest, though. It's a, I need time to blow up some of the scenery before I do a damn thing. <laughs> or you could just do that. That works, too. Yeah, I've never lost a challenge yet, but the purest is going to be the first one. I think it would have happened on, like, Suicide King or whatever anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I will try the purest again next time because I feel like I just got screwed over by bad deals in this one. And what are the chances of that happening again? Nervous laugh. Still no tent drops. So yeah, we have to go up here to get to the boss, right? Don't you whistle at me, Dingo. Don't you whistle. I'm sick of your shit, if you pardon the pun. Fire when you have to. Was this not the way? I could have sworn I saw the boss up here. Uh, no bug brain. Fire. Fire like there's no tomorrow. God damn it. Oh, now we're one hit away from death. Let's get really desperate and try blow some of these up for blow some of these up. Yeah, I said it right the first time. Blow some of these up hoping for a placenta. 
My god! Now that doesn't make this a win all of a sudden, but it does put us back to being two hits away from death, which is just hilarious. That What were the chances of that happening? Oh god. Well, there we go. We're back down to one hit away from death now. Although there is red hearts on the stage. So don't screw up. Don't screw up. Bob's brain's back. Bob's brain's back. Let's go back and grab a heart. It lives. Well, it doesn't matter whether we're on one heart or half a heart. It happens either way. In fact, on half a heart, it's better because we'll get Polaroid. That was not Bob's brain getting used up, unfortunately. Right, it lives. Maximum range. Bob's brain go. Our damage is pretty damn good with Book of Belial. But the chances all you have to do is kill it, it lives. Very, very slim. But if that's the case... This is the hardest phase. Um, I'd love to know why that hit me, but she's dead anyway, so... Oh my god, that's all we had to do! Clutch win thanks to getting Placenta in a random block I just decided to check out of desperation. That is by far the clutchest win I've ever had, and for that we got Runa Bercano, according to the achievement name. I would like to say I had fun with that one, but I was dismayed through that whole thing every time I tried to get Guppy and failed, but we still managed to do it without that. If we didn't get blank card as well, that would have been a loss for sure, tons of times over. But that clutch placenta thing at the end there, that was amazing. If you enjoyed this over an hour long run, feel free to leave a like, it helps out a whole lot. And subscribe if you want to see more daily Isaac, Binding of Isaac rather, Rebirth. My name has been Flick and I shall see you next time for something that's hopefully a little bit quicker, if not easier. Ta-ta for now.